I'm going to show you how to find the center of mass or the center of gravity of a lamina occupying a region R in the XY plane. The center of gravity of a lamina of a region R in the XY plane is a point X bar Y bar such that the gravity on the lamina is equivalent to a single force acting at the point X bar Y bar. Now, if this point is inside the region R, then the lamina will be balanced horizontally on the point of support placed at the center of gravity as shown in this diagram. To compute the center of mass or the center of gravity of a thin lamina of density Pxy covering region R in the xy plane is given by this formula. The denominator is actually the mass of lamina. Let's look at an example. The density of a thin plate bounded by y equal x squared and y equal x p or x y equal to 2x plus 1 times y plus 3. Find the center of mass x bar y bar. So we are going to use the formula of x bar and y bar. First, where is the mass? Notice that we actually found the mass in the earlier example, which is 23 over 30, where the region R is the yellow region bounded by y equal x and y equal x squared. So now, we are going to find the center of mass. To find x bar, to evaluate this integral, integrate from 0 to 1 for x and y equal x squared to x x p or x y dy dx p or x y is 2x plus 1 y plus 3 we must do the inner integral first we integrate with respect to y 3x constant therefore x times 2x plus 1 is 3 to x constant and we integrate integrate y get y squared over 2 Integrate 3, get 3y. Put the limit inside for y equal to x. I get the first term. And then put the limit for y equal to x square. And then I got the second term and find the difference. So the inner integral is 3x square plus 7 over 2 x cubed minus 5 x 4 minus x power 5 over 2 minus x power 6 after I expand the product. Inner integral with respect to y is this expression and it becomes a, like a normal integration with respect to x. So integrate x squared get x cubed over 3 x cubed with x 4 over 4 Integrate x power 4, you get x power 5 over 5. Integrate x power 5, you get x power 6 over 6. Integrate x power 6, you get x power 7 over 7. Together with their coefficients, put in x equal to 1 and x equal to 0. You will find that this is equal to 109 over 168. So the x coordinate of the center of mass, which is x bar here, is equal to this ratio and the numerical value of x bar computed is 0 0.564. What is the y coordinate of center of mass? We need to find y bar. We need to do this integral x from 0 to 1, y from x squared to x, y, pxy, dy, dx. pxy, we know is 2x plus 1, y plus 3. So we do the inner integral first. With respect to y, so you treat 2x plus 1 constant. Multiply y and y plus 3, you get y squared plus 3y. And then you integrate 
Integrate y squared, get y cubed over 3. Integrate y, get y squared over 2. And then you substitute y equal to x and y equal to x squared inside. We've got this expression. And the simplify and expand. So the inner integral will be an expression in x as this inner integral after I multiply them out. So let's continue the evaluation. I have found out the inner integral is this expression. So integrate with respect to x again. Integrate x power 7 is x power 8 over 8. Integrate x power 6, you get x power 7 over 7. Integrate x power 5, you get x power 6 over 6. Integrate x power 4, you get x power 5 over 5. Integrate x power 3, you get x power 4 over 4. Integrate x squared, you get x power 3 over 3. And then you substitute the limit x equal to 1 and x equal to 0 inside. You find that this integral gives you 15 out of 28. So the value of y bar is 75 or 161. So y bar is equal to 0 0.466. And this x bar and y bar will give you the location of the center of mass. This is the end of the recording.